Hello everyone and welcome back to tutorial 4. In our previous tutorial, we built our web pot. We passed it some text uh, that is mermaid text and it rendered. In this tutorial, we want to not use the workbench. We want to actually deploy it to our SharePoint environment. So to do that, let's get back into our project. And this is our project. Do a control C and we will understand how we can build, package and deploy this particular web part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the config. I'm going to go in none other than the package solution and this will be my SPFX package solution name. JS Mermaid Diagram. I'll just make it a little bit more fancy and I say Clavin, right? Good. Uh, now that I have the magical word Clavin, I hope that we'll not have any errors out here. And I'm going to hit two commands, gulp bundle dash dash ship, very important. So first thing would be bundling. And the next command would be gulp bundle, just say ship. So technically it should create the SharePoint folder and then I should have my SPPKG file. So it's created and let's go into the SharePoint folder. It is here. I'll say copy as path, go into my SharePoint environment, none other than my app catalog. Apps for SharePoint upload this particular app and I'll say deploy and I'm not deploying it globally. No errors. Very good. I will go into the active site again go into my MSFT site. Click on site contents. Add an app. Add this particular app out here. So the app is added. Fingers crossed going into my page. Clicking on edit page. Now what I'm going to do is click on add. Say mermaid.js up oh, perfect. And let me pick up a sequence diagram this time. And I'll copy this. I'll say edit. Paste it here. And bravo. Our sequence diagram is here. If I republish the page you can see the sequence diagram. And congratulations, you have created your first SPFX web part using JavaScript. I hope that this tutorial series was beneficial. I'm going to create another tutorial in which we'll a React based SPFX application. I'll come up with an interesting use case similar to the mermaid and we will implement it. If you need any more tutorials, do add it in the comments as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.